Welcome to this video all about recording video in WinUAE. So I've noticed um, a few people on the forums have uh, asked and had issues with recording video uh, in WinUAE. Um, personally I had this problem for a very long time but I think I finally uh, cracked how in uh, what's the best way in doing this I'm not saying this is the perfect and this is the way to do it but hopefully this video will really help you uh, one thing to make sure is that you've got the latest version of win UAE because um, I do believe that Tony the de developer has really been making some improvements uh, especially lately on um, recording video in win UAE uh, so things uh, to check out first, um, I set my display to uh, windowed. I know somebody's like tried full screen and had issues, but I always do windowed. Um, so the main area to look at is output. Okay, so under output, you need to make sure that you've got uh, your file name. So we've got test2 there. Under audio, I just leave audio alone. I've tried to play around with MP3 codecs and AAC codecs, and they just simply don't work in WinUAE. I've never got them to work. So um, I just stick with PCM and then the frequency of your sound card that uh, is set and 16-bit audio and stereo. That's plenty. Uh, the important bit is now video. So if we click on video, uh, we get a choice of codecs here. So we could go full frame uncompressed, but then you'll quickly run out of hard drive space um, because this takes up the most space. So the codec um, is a type of compression. Uh, you'll, you'll recognize H.264, that's quite a popular format. Um, and that's the first one we're going to have a look at. So how do you get this? Uh, so if you go to the web and go to uh, this page here so if you go if I go back one uh, just Google H264 VFW and then uh, click on the source forge link and then click on files now there are two different versions and it all depends on when you AE what uh, version uh, you got so if we go to the about here when you AE I'm running the 64-bit edition of when you AE so that means that I need to then download the 64-bit version of the codec um, if they don't match then you'll probably find that it doesn't appear in the list so yeah download that install that it's basic installer um, and then um, you should then see the codec in this list here so if we click on that and click configure there's a couple of things just to check here uh, I use the preset fast um, you can choose other presets but I think fast seems to work fine for me um, I think if you set it to even faster that will be then less CPU intensive for you so if you've got a slightly slower machine then that you might find these ones are better for you. Uh, I tick fast encode, uh, zero legs and C. Um, you can change this slider, this will change the quality of the image and the file size. So I've left it roughly in the middle, that seems fine for me. And then uh, one of the important things is to make sure that virtual dub hack is ticked. Uh, without that ticked, I've noticed that you get some weird error messages with WinUAE. So, uh, yeah, leave that ticked. Um, yep, just make a note of this page and what's ticked and what isn't, and, and just copy it. So, once that's done, and we click on OK on that other one, uh, we're nearly done. A couple of things we need to double check is that disable frame rate limit is unticked. Uh, disable a sound output is unticked because we want sound output. Uh, capture before filtering, uh, that basically means that any of these filters that are applied here on, on this tab here um, don't appear in the final footage. That's fine, that's what I want. And untick uh, disable sound sync because I want to enable sound sync. Um, I've noticed before in the past that um, you can start off a uh, recording 
and the sound is massively uh, got a delay of like quite a few seconds um, one of those things that could cause that is if you check in the sound settings um, sometimes if if this is ticked automatic switching um, you'll find that you get a massive sound delay so just make sure that's unticked uh, when re when recording and that is basically it now it's a little bit confusing how this works but basically this is the start and go button here so if we enable it you'll see that it's staying blue that means that when I press start it will then start recording when the emulator starts so now we're actually recording it would be nice if there was something in the status bar at the bottom saying that it's recording maybe that could be a feature request for a later version who knows so it, because at the moment it doesn't really look like we're recording but we actually are so uh, I'll click through here the cat track and then I'll let it play for a little bit uh, yeah play that and there's there. Mean Arenas these guys are crazy I love this game <laughs> right there we go so if we hit F12 so say okay I've finished my recording now I'm all done um, if you immediately uh, browse to that file um, at the moment you'll see there's test 2 brilliant there it is oh it's zero bytes it hasn't recorded I've paused win UAE you've got to make sure to click the button again so it's now to return to grey and if we look now ah, there we go our video has been fully saved it's nine megabytes now I recommend renaming this to something else because what can easily be done is you don't change the file name up here and you accidentally click this button here and without warning it will overwrite your file so just a warning of that either change the file name up there all the time or what I find is much easier after a recording immediately change it to something else and yeah and then you won't lose it so let's just double check that that recording works looks good so far make sure that the sound is in sync Hi there, I am Buzz McLeod and this is Bob Belinsky. Hello. Yeah, Welcome that looks good. Edition. So, there we go. Um, so that is a way of recording Win UAE. Uh, it's only a 9 megabyte file, so... Oh, can't quite see that. A 9 megabyte file just down there, so that's not too bad. Um, now, if you find that this codec isn't working out for you, you're either getting error messages um, or your it's it's just purely not working for you then there is an alternative uh, so what we can do is we go to video again and uh, there's one called TechSmith screen capture codec so you can get that from following website uh, by going and googling TSCC codec and it's made by TechSmith uh, download version 1 not version 2 I believe version 2 1 is a demo version uh, at least it was the last time I knew it kind of looks like that's a free download at the moment but I've always used number 1 and it's absolutely fine so uh, yeah free download there um, install that in the usual way and then that should then appear in this list here now TechSmith uh, screen capture codec it's pretty simple there's just one slider um, I've had this in like different positions I've never noticed a problem with uh, quality the quality of this codec is very good and the compression as well is also very good you get very small files for excellent quality which is really what we want but there is one kind of downside to it and it's only a small downside is that if you 
want to edit your videos later on then uh, you'll find that most of the video editing packages out there won't recognize this format and it will just error out so you've got a couple of options um, you can then go with the x264 format try and get that working um, but if that doesn't work for you at all the x264 uh, then you can record in TechSmith uh, format and then use a program like uh, for example uh, Handbrake and uh, convert the uh, TechSmith file that is produced use into handbrake into another format that then your video editor can understand trouble is that's another step that's quite time consuming so it then you know editing and making videos then you know becomes much longer um, so the best solution I recommend is if you are going to be doing a lot of edit um, video editing with your footage um, then yeah uh, I recommend I recommend hand, handbrake anyway for the final edit of of your video just to compress it down uh, but for x264 it's better for video editors uh, whereas the TechSmith um, one is a better quality uh, and it's all right if you're not going to do any video editing and you're just going to bring it up onto YouTube or you're going to burn it to a DVD or just archive it somewhere then yeah that's a good codec to use so hopefully this video has helped you and I haven't confused you too much um, if you've got any questions uh, leave a comment in the um, down below and I will try and help you with it um, as I said I've had problems in the past and it's it's never been an easy subject uh, recording in WinUAE uh, for me so hopefully this guide will help um, and yeah hopefully I'll see you in a future video thanks for watching